my brother's recording and I'm uh, going to, uh, he's going to get one done too. We're going to get uh, body, both bioelectric and pins analysis done. Uh, hopefully the woman lets us record in there. If not, then we'll just have to show the stats afterwards. And uh, we're almost there, we're there in like two seconds here. I'll show you what it looks like. We're going to Ascent to Hell, home with the best fish oil. explain things. Okay. Um, so you can just lie down on your back. Okay. Um, Where's this? Yep. And then um, legs a little bit further apart. So they're kind of like that. And then arms out from your body so that you're like that. Okay. Perfect. And then just relax. I just have to input some uh, basic information in here. Okay. How old are you? 22. 22. And then your height, we said, was 69 inches, right? Yep. And then your weight was 165? Yep. Okay, so I'm just having your mind quiet just for a second. Okay. And that's that. Um, so you can get up. Um, and basically, what we did, we can remove these. Um, a signal uh, was sent throughout your body, yeah. um, and that signal was impeded differently uh, by different tissues. So the signal travels differently through fat than it does through muscle than it does through water. Um, and based on different algorithms that have been calculated, yeah. um, the machine spits out these numbers. Okay? This is garbage. Um, okay. So how would somebody else who's interested in doing this get um, a hold of you or? Uh, this, this is done in a lot of uh, naturopathic practices. Uh -huh. um, some medical doctors will do it, but it's it's really not very common uh, for MDs to do it. You, you kind of have to find more alternative medical doctors. Um, also, you know, any of the big fitness buffs. Yeah. Um, there are varying degrees of this sort of machine um but yeah you you pretty much have to find someone who who offers the service um so it spits this out um and this really isn't useful at all unless you can interpret the results right um so what i'll do is i'll i'll quickly go through um the results with you and explain what what some of the numbers mean um but Probably, given your interest in, in fitness and uh, nutrition, um, it will be of more value for you to take a look at these numbers and compare them to, to some numbers that I can email you, okay. um, just so that you can see where yours stack up against other people's, okay. um, and it you'll you'll have more clarity on, on what some of these numbers mean if you actually sit down and you know really kind of digest them. Sounds good. Okay, so if you want to take a look here, I usually start with this number, uh, total body water over lean body mass. Mm -hmm. This is an indication of your overall hydration status. Um, so 72.5 tends to be exactly where we want it to okay. be, um, which means overall your body is very well hydrated, okay? I typically say, you know, if you're under 60... 69, 70, then mm -hmm. you're, you're kind of going on the dehydrated side. If you're 74 or over, then you're on the retaining water side. Yeah. 72.5, it's perfect. Um, and then we have to take a look to see where the water is actually residing within your body. It can reside within your cells or outside of your cells. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what we look at right here, intracellular water versus extracellular water. Mm -hmm. You want your cells to look like grapes, not raisins, okay? Yeah. So the more water that's inside of your cells, the better. Um, inside of the cells, that's where the mitochondria reside. Uh, the mitochondria are the energy producing factors mm -hmm. of the cells, and they need water in order to generate ATP, yeah. uh, which is energy. Uh, energy, exactly. So taking a look at your numbers, uh, you have 67% inside of the cell and 32, 33% outside. 
um, that's an excellent ratio. Um, I typically tell the average person 60-40 um, split mm -hmm. is, is what to aim for. Um, ideally in a perfect world, 65-35, um, 60-40, um, something like that. Um, but very, very, very few people would actually achieve that. Mm -hmm. um, this is one of the best that I've ever seen, ever. <laughs> so, so that's really, really good. Um, the next thing that I look at is basal metabolic rate. Um, so you're probably familiar with that. Yep. How many calories your body needs per day to survive at rest to maintain your weight where it is. So you're at about 2,000 calories, okay? Um, so that's you sitting in front of the TV not moving all day. Um, certainly if, um, if you're athletic or if you're physical at all, then you, you have to adjust that. Yep. You, you would need more than 2,000 calories per day. Um, but that's kind of the base. Uh, your BMI or your body mass index um, is 24.3. Um, body mass index, um, it's what the traditional medical system uses uh, to classify someone as healthy weight, overweight, underweight, obese. Um, 18.5 to 25 is considered healthy. Yeah. Um, there are certainly limitations with, with using that, uh, which is why I much prefer to look at uh, fat mass. Mm -hmm. um, so if we're looking at fat mass here, uh, there's 23.9 pounds of fat on your body, um, and that's equivalent to 14.4% of your body as fat. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, the only other thing that I really concentrate on, um, at least the first time around with people, is phase angle. Uh, phase angle, it's an indication of your overall cellular health. Um, basically, the higher the better. Mm -hmm. uh, some studies have found that the higher your phase angle, um, the decreased length of hospital stay if you're admitted to the hospital um, and decreased overall mor mortality. Mm -hmm. um, 9.3 um, is amazing. Once again, it's one of the <laughs> best numbers I've ever seen. So, you know, um, certainly you have age working, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, in, in your favor uh, because young guys tend to be the healthiest. Mm -hmm. um, but I've seen 22 year old men who who don't have these results yeah. as well so uh, so overall excellent results thank you um, all of that being said the true value of, of doing a reading like this mm -hmm. is comparing your results from one time to the next <laughs> time to the next yeah, time yeah, yeah. Um, so that you can see how things are trending um, I honestly wouldn't expect your water to get a whole lot better than that mm -hmm. uh, we'd want to keep you there um, if anything, and prevent decline. Same yeah. with phase angle. Yeah. Um, you're not going to get it much higher than that. Yeah. Um, the biggest thing really that, that we could watch would just be uh, fat mass if you were trying to achieve certain results. And I, I am. By July 1st, I'm hoping to have that like by to 10 at least. Yeah. Yeah. So. But right now, like you can almost see my full six back. So we get. We were trying to guess yesterday what it would be. You guessed 13. So mm. the yeah. Closest, yeah. 13%. 14.4 So yeah, by all means, um, you know, we can we can do this again <laughs> uh, in the future. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we can, sure. we can coordinate it with your mom if, yeah. if, you, <laughs> like, if you like the results. Yeah, yeah. How are your results? Definitely. Is what good. you expected? Yeah, good. It's what Zion guessed. Uh, for like 14%, 14. Who is for body fat? He you? Is. Yeah. <laughs> you? I'm like 20. I thought he was 11 at least. I know, you would think so. With his, yeah. yeah. You think, I know. I got a little bit to lose. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I mean, I, that's why I don't want to step on the damn thing. It's, it's an like excellent number, um, you know. But yeah, yeah, yeah. if what you're trying to get else? everything else, really, it couldn't be. Anything. Did you do it? <laughs> you did do it. Why? All right, that's good enough. Yeah. So this is what I'm eating today. Uh, I just got back from the. Bod, uh, bioelectrical impedance analysis and this is what I'm eating today after my workout same thing I ate last time broccoli uh, egg pasta chicken a little bit of uh, barbecue sauce more chicken ancient grains bread with almond butter and or uh, almond peanut butter or, yeah almond butter and uh, jam oatmeal protein to go in the oatmeal uh, it's about without the excluding the oatmeal and the and the protein because I'm not eating those right away. It's about 
1,210 calories, 100 grams of protein, 130 grams of carbs, and I think like 30 grams of fat or something. But uh, yeah, that's it. And hopefully you guys enjoy this video. So like, comment, or subscribe.